Hi everybody, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, I do a lot of videos that revolve around music, more specifically Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, and Katy Perry. And today I am going to be doing a second installment of this series that I'm calling a series as of today called uh, Ranking Every Artist's Songs on my wall. So like, you usually see the tier maker lists online, so I'm going to be replicating that today on my wall. I did it a few months back with Ariana Grande back in September, so if you haven't seen that one, please go and check it out. And by popular demand, a lot of you wanted to see the same exact thing with Lady Gaga. So here I am today, about six months later, to do that for you. Please make sure you subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up, it helps out a bunch. And comment down below and tell me what artist you would like to see in this installment next time. Please make sure you hit up my Patreon, patreon.com slash Noah Woodward for a bunch of behind the scenes and exclusive content. So today I am going to be ranking uh, six of her albums. I am not going to be doing a Star is Born or Cheek to Cheek because frankly I don't have enough room. Um, but The Fame and The Fame Monster are both going to be combined on white index cards. Born This Way is going to be on yellow. Art Pop is going to be on a dark blue. Chromatica is going to be on a pink. And Joanne is going to be on like a lighter blue. The categories that I have today, just please keep in mind that this is completely my opinion. Um, I do feel like I know what good music is. <laughs> <laughs> but I this is all my opinion and you might see your fave at the bottom not because I hate it And I think it's a bad song maybe um, But just because I may not have had enough time with it So our top slash God tier category is going to be called talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same totally unique so that is going to be our God tier category our great category is going to be called Literally Speechless. Our good category, good tier I guess you could say, is going to be Music To My Eyes. Kind of like our middle ground, so it's not like the best song in the world, not the worst song, and I will listen to it. Our next category is going to be called Why Did You Do That? This category is mainly representing not a bad song, but just one that I uh, don't listen to ever. Like, it's, it's a skip but I don't hate it, um, and I just probably couldn't fit it anywhere else on the, on the list. And then our last category, where it probably isn't the best song in my opinion, is going to be called A Million Reasons This Ain't It. So, I'm going to get everything set up on the wall here to start ranking. We have our bowl full of every single song from all of those albums that I talked about, and it's an Easter bowl, so happy Easter. And we're gonna get started, so here we go, wish me luck. Please keep in mind that they are ranked this way, I will not be ranking them this way. So like the song way over here on the God category may be better than the one over here, but I don't have that much effort to do. So we're just gonna pick out and see what we get first. I'm so excited, okay. Just Another Day from Joanne. Oh, yikes, already starting on a bad note. <coughs> we're gonna go Just Another Day. Why did you do that? I'm not gonna vouch for every single song that I put down here, but Joanne is just not my cup of tea, so most songs are a little questionable on there for me, and I will leave it at that. Go ahead and watch my Lady Gaga discography review, where I go more in depth about everything Lady Gaga. Brown Eyes, oh, this needs to stop, okay. Um, all right, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. Let's move on. Okay, here we go. Chromatica 2 and 911. I combined them because I ran out of index cards, and also, like, the transitions and stuff so it just makes sense. I'm gonna put it on literally speechless because it indeed did make me speechless. Ayo, music to my eyes. Not the best song in the world, definitely not the worst. Oh, Shaza, or however you pronounce that one from Born This Way. Um, female empowerment, dare I do it? It's a bop. Literally a smash. I like it rough from the fame. Mm. I never listen to that song. Perfect Delusion. Um, great comeback single. I would say it's not her best thing she's ever done in the world. The key change is incredible. So I would rank it here. And if I was going in order from like best to worst, left to right, it would definitely be very close to the best. Aura. Um, and drugs despite the controversy I think the song is so good <laughs> I think it's a bop so it's going on music to my eyes Bloody Mary um I don't like this song I don't ever find myself listening to it I just don't see 
the necessity for it on that album. Sinner's Prayer. Yikes, I don't even have her in my library. Shoot. I was hoping not to get canceled this early on in 2021. <laughs> Mary the Night. Oh, one of her best songs of all time. This would be ranked the highest of the high if it could. Starstruck. I don't hate this song. I don't listen to it much anymore, but it was like very big in my childhood when this album came out. So I'm gonna put it in why did you do that? Because it's kind of like the it's kind of like the middle ground. Like I would listen to it, it might get skipped occasionally. Not saying literally why did you do that? That's kind of just being dramatic, but like it's good. Like I know all the words. Money Honey from the Fame. I'll do music to my eyes. Oh, Art Pop X Dreams. Um, we're going to put that in literally speechless because that is a smash. GUI. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Sorry I'm going so quick through all this. I just, you know, there's a lot to cover. Chromatica, Fun Tonight. This was my favorite when the album came out and it definitely is not anymore. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling with you. I'm not having fun tonight. Music to my eyes. Oh, and it's predecessor, Free Woman. Same thing. Dang, all the Chromatica ones are coming to the top right now. We got Rain On Me right here. Now, I thought about this. Rain On Me is such an iconic song. If I follow this category to a T, it's not totally unique. It has probably been done before, but it is talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, never the same. I'm gonna put it in the top category only because of what they did with the live performance. And it's Ariana, so how could I not? Do What You Want, featuring Christina Aguilera. Don't come for me, I know what's right. Um, so the Christina Aguilera version, absolutely. Absolutely, that song is so good. I have the OG version that we're not gonna talk about, but I do have the OG version because I bought the album on iTunes, so they never deleted it when they took it off of streaming services. So that one does come on from time to time and I don't skip it, but um, we're only rating, you know, good things right here. Uh, sour candy, so sour candy, so sweet, then I get a little angry. Music to my eyes. I like Blackpink a lot. Judas, oh, don't even tell me twice. Judas, Judas. So happy I could die. Um, I'm gonna put it in why did you do that? This is like my only skip on the Fame Monster album EP thing. Come to Mama. Shit. Right. Again, please don't cancel me. Joanne is not my fave. Hey girl. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um, go right there. Why did you do that? Angel Down. Okay, see, now I'm gonna redeem myself. Um, yeah, this song is beautiful. Plastic Doll. Yeah. Yeah, I can't lie. Born This Way, the title track. Um, I'm gonna put it in Literally Speechless. It was one of the best songs ever made, and I understand that, but looking back, like, I don't play it as much, so I'm really just going on how it's, like, lasted throughout the years. It is an incredible song, do not get me wrong, but it is gonna go in the speechless category for right now. Venus, um, same thing. This has lost a little bit of luster for me, and I'm just waiting for our pop part two. Manicure, oh, absolutely. I still get down to that on the daily. Bad Romance, um, don't hate me, please. Disco Heaven, no. Bad Kids, a bad kid, babe. No, no. Telephone, absolutely. Queen B. Dance in the Dark, uh, music to my eyes. Summer Boy, I do like this one. I'm gonna put it in Why Do You Do That? Why did you, why, why did you do that? Boys, boys, boys. Music to my eyes. Teeth. Oh, this one gets me crunk. I get down to teeth. As a nine-year-old, this, I had no business listening to that song. Donatella. Donatella, I'm so good, I'm for tanker gas. Okay, yeah, that's a bop and a half. I'm gonna win and I'm champagne. Art pop. Um, okay. I'm gonna put it over here. I would say her worst title track. I'm gonna say it because she did it on purpose. She didn't make it all explosive and fun for a reason. And I respect that completely because the whole album is so like whoa, in your face. And this is kind of like the mellow middle point. So I understand why she did it, but it's just not a song that I listen to on the daily. Government Hooker. Um, go, go, go. The Opera Roots. I'll give her points for that. Yeah. Swine. 
Oh. Again, not my favorite on the Art Pop album, so I'm gonna put it in this category here. I understand the message is very heavy and very personal to her, and I get that, and if it was just centered on messages of songs, it would be above and beyond, but not my cup of tea. Million reasons. Um, okay. This is like a perfect radio song, but as of like songwriting and things like that, it's not like the best, you know what I mean? Like people have done better, dare I say it? So Million Reasons is gonna go in the middle category for that reason. Speechless, ooh, good one. Monster, yeah, that's gonna go music to my eyes. Go music to my eyes. You can work your way to the top. Just dance, gonna be okay. I hope I don't get 85 copyrights for singing one second of each of these songs. Okay, I like Just Dance more than Poker Face. So because of that, Just Dance is gonna go up here. Applause. Oh, absolutely, her best song right here at the top. Okay, with Dope, here's my thing. With Dope, if it's her life, very, very good. Very good songwriting. I like the original version, I Wanna Be With You or whatever, a little bit more. Um, so because of that, I'm gonna put Dope in, speech, in Literally Speechless. Love Game, ooh, this one got me turned as a kid as well. That's gonna go in Literally Speechless. Dancing in Circles, um, yeah. Chromatica One and Alice. Uh, where did I put 911? Up there. Okay, so Alice is gonna go here. Diamond Heart, Diamond Heart, the opening of Joanne. Babylon, strut it out, walk a mile, serve it ancient city style, talk it out, apple on, battle for your life. This was one of my favorites when the album came out, and I heard the piano version and was like, what is the garbage I've been listening to? Where has this been all my life? So I'm gonna put that in right there. Mary Jane Holland, I picked up two. Mary Jane Holland and Grigio Girls. Um, okay, so we're gonna do Mary Jane Holland in Literally Speechless, and we're gonna do Grigio Girls in Why Did You Do That? A song I don't listen to often, but I do think is very good, and if it came on without my consent, I would not skip. Oh, Sign From Above! And Replay! Chromatica smashes. Okay, Sign From Above is gonna go up here. Replay is gonna go right there. Hair, don't even get me started. All the glory that I bear. Paper Gangsta. Listen, I said that I got pretty crunk to like Love Game and um, Teeth as a kid. Remembering me before it began. Sometimes I felt so deaf in the gym. But the ones who love me told me to stop. Back home, girl can't catch it if it drops. A superwoman chick, you know that I am. Cause I do not accept any less. Just as real as fabulous. Don't want no paper gangster. Oh, okay, we picked up like eight. So we're just gonna do them Black Jesus and Almond Fashion, John Wayne. And Americano. So Americano is gonna go down here. Not a good song. Sorry. Um, the message, incredible. Again, the the songwriting on the Born This Way album, very very good. Um, I don't like it. John Wayne. I'm gonna do literally speechless for John Wayne because this was my favorite. Still is my favorite on that album. And then Black Jesus, I'm in fashion. Oh. Okay. Picked up like five again. Sorry. Poker Face and Paparazzi. Paparazzi ahead of its time. Poker Face, I put Just Dance. Where did I put Just Dance? Over there. So po uh, Poker Face is gonna go in Music To My Eyes. Enigma and Fashion from Art Pop. Fashion on Music To My Eyes. And we're gonna do Enigma and Literally Speechless because that was, that's such a good song. The Edge of Glory, I don't think I need to talk twice about that. Oh, You and I was right behind The Edge of Glory and that's perfect because those are my all time favorite Lady Gaga songs pretty much, like at least all time favorite singles. Trust me, I have my like fan little monster moments where I'm loving like Black Jesus and um, Manicure and Gypsy, but you and I and The Edge of Glory are Beautiful Dirty Rich from The Fame and The Queen from Born This Way. The Queen is gonna go in this category right here and Beautiful Dirty Rich is gonna go right there. Electric Chapel and Highway Unicorn. Highway Unicorn is gonna go in Speechless. I listen to this song a lot. And we're gonna put Electric Chapel. Oh, and Heavy Metal Lover. Okay, I hate to do it. Born This Way, the album is just very hit or miss for me. There are a few songs that I just love, love, love so much, as you see all the yellow. It's very spread, you know? We got this, we got this. 
So it's just, it's very hit or miss. Um, AA, nothing else I can say, and Stupid Love. Stupid Love is gonna go in literally speechless and a, there's nothing else I can say. Fashion of His Love. Okay, this one's a little bit better than the bottom category, so I'm gonna put Fashion of His Love in the Why Did You Do That era. The Fame, a great title track. And Joanne, title track. Speechless. <gasps> okay, see, okay, I'm not canceled. That's pretty good, right? These are like my all-time favorite Lady Gaga songs. I think this ended up being very accurate. I'll stand over here so you can see me in the shot. So here we have the talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, never the same, totally unique, completely never been done before, put it in a blender and give birth to a category. Here we have the literally speechless category, which is probably my biggest filled one, I would say. Then we have my music to my eyes category, which is kind of just like the songs that I might skip depending on the day, but they're really not bad, and I would listen to them no matter what if they came on without my consent. Why did you do that category? Meaning I would probably skip it, but I really don't think it's a bad song. It's just not something that I would listen to on my own. In our bottom category, A Million Reasons, This Ain't It. These are the songs I don't even have in my phone. That is it for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and agree with these ratings, give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't agree with the ratings, give it a thumbs up anyway and comment down below to tell me why I'm stupid. Um, definitely comment down below and tell me what artist you should see me do this next with. I have so many ideas in mind and I love doing this. It's so fun for me because I really get to like map out what I'm feeling, you know? So thank you so much for watching. I love you forever and ever and I will see you in the next one. Bye.